Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. Bitcoin has been consolidating in this descending channel over the last couple of weeks. And after getting a scary move to the downside, we are now trading back inside the range. And in fact, we have now broken above this descending line of resistance. So in my opinion, this is a very significant move that could potentially be a signal that the price is ready to move back to the top side of this descending channel. And in the case that it does, it would actually reach all the way up back to 71.5K. However, before I can really call for something like that, I would love to see a daily candle close above this descending line of resistance. Now, another bullish signal that has confirmed since yesterday's video is actually the break of this downward sloping trend line on the RSI momentum indicator. And this is, in my opinion, a very significant signal because we have been in this descending line of resistance ever since the top at 73K. So now, at least in the short term, we have broken above this level of resistance, potentially also signaling a reversal in the Bitcoin price and potentially the price getting ready for that next big leg to the upside. However, before the price is ready to start testing the all time highs again, there are some levels of resistance in between. So now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Bitcoin. So zooming in on the four hour time frame, recently we got a perfect bounce from this level of support which was sitting from about 56.4K all the way up to 58,000 US dollars. And in fact, we already since yesterday's video actually broke above this previous level of resistance, which has now been flipped into support. So now the next level of support below the current price is from about 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. Now moving on to some levels of resistance. First of all, we could expect to see some short term resistance right here, right at about 64,000 US dollars. However, in the case that we do just start trading higher from here, well, the next big level of resistance is from about 65k all the way up to 66,000 US dollars. And lastly, for the short term support and resistance, one other important trend line to keep an eye on is in this descending channel that I talked about earlier, because right here you can see we broke above this descending trend line on the four hour time frame. And in the case that we get a breakout plus a retest, well, then potentially we could be blasting off higher breaking through some previous levels of short-term resistance. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today, because we have some very important news. Scrolling down here, you can see that yesterday, after getting many days of outflows, we got a massive inflow of about $380 million worth of Bitcoin that was bought on Friday. So on the left here, you can see all of the ETFs buying. However, the most significant one is actually this $63 million buy from the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF. And as you can see right here in this article from Coindesk, this is Grayscale's first inflow after getting billions of outflows since January. So if you take a look at it here, in total, they have seen about $17.5 billion worth of outflows since the ETFs actually started trading. And now with this $63 million net buy, this is actually their largest inflow day since the ETFs started trading. Therefore, in the case that we do see this trend continue of large net buying pressure coming from these Bitcoin ETFs, likely it will send the price much higher. And if you want to stay up to date with the current crypto markets for Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana, make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps for today. First of all, on the three day time frame, you can see that we took out massive liquidity to the upside right here. And this is exactly why we look at these liquidity levels every single day, because typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So where there are the most yellow areas on this chart. And right now on the three day time frame, you can see that most of the liquidity is to the downside with big levels of liquidity from about 62.3K all the way down to 57,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. So do not get fooled by all of this bullish price action in the short term, because yeah, there is a lot of liquidity piling up below the current price. And you can see something similar on the one week time frame. So zooming out a little bit, you can see that there is also a lot of liquidity still piling up to the downside. However, most of the liquidity is in fact to the upside with about $700 million worth of shorts that will get liquidated in the case that the price reaches 64.8K. 
And once you zoom out to the one month time frame, the picture becomes even more clear because you can see that by far most of the liquidity is to the upside with again, a lot of liquidity also at 67.4K. So overall, it looks like most of the liquidity is to the upside. So it is more likely that we go to the upside. However, in situations like this, where you have liquidity to the upside and to the downside, I would say make sure you keep an eye on the technical indicators that I talked about earlier in the video, like the key support and resistance levels, because in the case that the price starts breaking down below key levels of support, well, in that case, you can expect to see the price go lower. Now, if you are a beginner and want to learn more about trading as well as technical analysis, like I do in my videos, I recommend you go check out my free trading course on Patreon. You can find it with the link in the description of the video you are watching right now. And as you can see by this list right here, I have a lot more videos in the works that I will be uploading over time whenever I find the time to upload those videos. So like I said, go check that out if you are a beginner and want to learn more about how to trade. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame, you can see that recently we got rejected at about 4,000 US dollars for the Ethereum price at the 0.786 Fibonacci level, after which we traded to the downside and lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level where after that we have just been ranging between the 0.5 and the 0.618 Fibonacci level. So now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for ETH so we can get a better understanding of what to expect in the short term. So zooming in on the one hour time frame for Ethereum, you can see that recently we had this ascending triangle pattern, which did break out to the upside as I talked about in yesterday's video, confirming this price target right here at about 31.80 for the price of Ethereum. And as you can see, we got a nice move to the upside for Ethereum of about a 5% move to the upside. So if you took a leverage trade anywhere close to the point of the breakout, you would have had a nice profit here on this trade. For example, I got a nice 80% gain on that trade for Ethereum. And here you can see Sassy Ninja as well in my Discord community getting about a 25% profit on that Ethereum trade. And I even shared my real-time thoughts on the market in the Discord community here. So if you want to get access to that, I recommend you join the Discord server for free with the first link in the description of this video. So now for the short-term support and resistance levels for ETH, you can see that below the current price, there's a big level of support from about $3,000 all the way down to the 2850 level. And this also corresponds perfectly to the 0.5 Fibonacci level. So in my opinion, this is a big level of support. However, in the case that we do just trade to the upside, the next big level of resistance is pretty close to the current price from about 31.50 all the way up to 32.50 for the price of Ethereum. Now taking a look at Solana on the weekly time frame, you can see that recently we also got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level, just like Ethereum. And after losing support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level, we traded all the way to the downside to the 0.5 Fibonacci level, where we have now found some support and are potentially reversing back to the upside. So just like ETH, let's take a look at the short-term support and resistance levels so we know what to expect for Solana. So zooming in on the four hour time frame for Solana, you can see that right now we are trading in a big level of resistance from about $140 all the way up to $150. But in the case that we clear that level of resistance and start trading to the upside, we can face some short-term resistance right here at about $160 for Solana. And then above that, the next big level of resistance is from about $166 all the way up to $171 for the price of Sol. However, at the same time, I do want to note this trend line right here, because in the case that we do see a breakdown to the downside from this trend line, likely we might get some bearish price action or potentially the price just needs to cool off a little bit by consolidating. So that is just something to keep in mind. In the case that we do trade back to the downside though, the next big level of support below the current price is actually right here from about 133 all the way down to $124. And one other thing to note on the four hour time frame here is that the RSI is getting kind of close to reaching overbought territories. And typically when that happens, there is limited room to the upside. So usually you would need to see a little bit of a pullback or just some sideways consolidation for the RSI to reset back to around this 50 level. And zooming in even further to the one hour time frame, you can see that has already kind of started playing out because on the one hour time frame, we already reached into overbought territories. And now you can see the price here 
as it reached overbought territories has now started to cool off a little bit on the one hour time frame, trying to reset back to around that 50 level. But either way, as long as we hold this trend line to the upside, I do think likely the price is going to go higher, but it could also be dependent on what Bitcoin actually does in the short term, because in the case that we get a bounce from the level of support in the parallel channel that I talked about earlier, well, then likely Sol will go higher. But in the case that we lose the level of support and start trading to the downside, well, then it is also more likely that Solana is going to go lower in the short term. But this is, of course, not financial advice. I'm simply telling you what I see in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Now, if you want to join a crypto community, I recommend you join my Discord server with the first link in the description of this video. It's completely free to join and it's a very good place to be if you want to learn more about crypto or just want to have fun and meet other people that are also trading. This has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.